Dear Class of 2020, by the time you're hearing this, it's the sixth week of quarantine here in Delaware, which led to the closure of the Goldie Beacom College campus. I've read a lot of stories about how some people have run out of things to clean or are getting bored while social distancing. I hope you're doing well during this time. One activity that I can recommend that isn't boring, but may be difficult, is graduating from college while in quarantine due to a worldwide pandemic. We were planning to host our commencement today, May 1st, 2020, on what we hoped would be a perfect day. We hope to be celebrating your achievements with your family, friends, and fellow graduates. And that was the plan right up until March 11th, the day that things started to get complicated for us. We considered many options and knew that families and friends would be flying in from across the world to share this day with you. We developed different scenarios, looked at what other colleges were doing, but eventually our decisions were largely made for us. Our elected officials at the local, state, and national levels began to restrict travel and limit the size of group gatherings, and eventually closed down all but the most essential of businesses. We at Goldie Beacom knew that we needed to keep our family safe, so we moved instruction to online methods and encouraged those who could move off campus and back home to do so. We knew that we would need to postpone commencement, our largest gathering with more than a thousand people in our gym. That hurt. So what about today, May 1st? I know how long you and your families have waited and how hard you've worked to get to today. I'm proud, and I hope you are too, that in spite of everything, here you are. You've made it. Even though we all expected to spend this day differently, if there's anything that we all learn in college, it's to adjust and embrace new situations. Let's rewind to when you first started this college journey. Whether you came as a first-time freshman or transferred from another school, you came to Goldie Beacom with all the hope and optimism there is, with a goal to achieve something that you've wanted for most of your life, graduating from college. Receiving your degree on a stage in front of your families and then taking everything you've learned into the next phase of your life. To make your family proud, to inspire others, to use what you've now gained to make a true difference in the world. That is all so important. It's part of the experience that we strive to give our students. But I think even more so, and if you really pause and think back on your college journey, it might be that the people, the friends you've made at Goldie Beacom, and these college experiences that you could have had nowhere else, that might be what you remember most. Experiences with those friends in class, student organizations, athletics, community service opportunities, those gains you won and celebrated or those losses that brought you closer together, the ups and downs of everything. Those memories of having all of your favorite people in one place for what felt like forever, those will stick with you for a lifetime. These experiences and these people are what we really hold on to after this phase. It's what we continue to grasp onto in every phase of our life after this. But this was it, your last few months in college with your best friends, teammates, and professors. And then coronavirus. One minute you're enjoying a nice day after a long winter, and the next you're preparing to leave this phase of your life behind. In a matter of days, you had to pack up everything you own, all you know, pack up your belongings and memories, and somehow say goodbye to as many people as you could. And then you went home. And as the shock began to wear off, you remembered that you didn't get to say all of your goodbyes. There were some people that you may never see again. There may be some people who you will be relieved to never see again. But with such an abrupt ending, the reality of never getting to experience that event or this game or play with this person one last time hits and hurts. You worked hard. These were supposed to be your weeks to celebrate this huge life achievement and to get ready for what your future holds for you. It's hard not to see all of this as one big, terrible event. It is. 
There is no substitute for some of the experiences you will all miss because of this. But here we are. We had to go on. Classes had to continue, so we got everything online. And that took tremendous effort by faculty, students, and staff. Learning wasn't the same any longer, but we're all surprising ourselves with how we have risen to the challenge. Those of you who are graduating were better prepared than those of us having to move education to a new platform. You were born into the digital age and have lived in the digital age your entire life. So we learned from you. We learned what it means to be connected while being alone. We're Zooming all over the world now, staying connected and virtually learning while staying at home. You taught those of us at Goldie Beacom that we could do this, so thank you. We were dealt a surprising blow, but we bounced back and figured out how to connect in a different way. Our softball team used this time to show us their creativity and bond. We have a few graduates who've since started and launched an app that uses technology to enhance human connection. You use this time to reevaluate and recognize that this unavoidable and unpredictable phase of your life is just like the next phase. It's still life. These things will happen. You will make plans and the universe will make you plan again. What's that adage we all know? Nothing is permanent except change. Endings like this can bring some surprising outcomes, motivation, a positive outlook on what's going to happen next, and fond memories about things you may not have appreciated at the time. The time you've spent at Goldie Beacom, studying, playing a sport, hanging around campus, this whole college experience has created memories that you will look back on with the most care and fondness. You've met people from across the world and made lifelong friends that you will never forget. This event shifted and changed everything about the culture and community in which we live. One thing that we regret here is that you will forever be for us the class that got away. The one that didn't get the proper finish, the send off, or the final goodbyes with friends and with us. One day soon, the world will go back to a new normal, and Goldie Beacom will find its new rhythm. We'll host a commencement in November, and we hope you'll come back for that. We'd be honored to have a chance to celebrate you and thank you for showing us the strength and ability to overcome a difficult experience. So graduates, relax. Enjoy this time with your families. Use this time to prepare and imagine what life will be like on the other side. Stay optimistic, because I'd like to think that when this pandemic is over, we'll come out of this even better. And let me suggest one positive to take away from this pandemic experience. Now, you'll definitely have an answer to that ubiquitous interview question. Tell me about an obstacle that you've overcome. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thanks for making Goldie Beacom a part of your life, and welcome to the Goldie Beacom alumni family.